Hello everybody. I recently repaired my daughter's GHD hair straightener for styling iron, whatever you want to call it. GHD Good Hair Day, in case you didn't know what the uh, initials stood for. And the thermal fuse, which is a one-shot safety device, had failed on her styling iron. And the original device is right here. It's the this device here. And I bought a replacement, which is this one right here. And the difference in the two is obvious. Obviously the leads are a little bit longer on the new replacement one. But the other thing I did was I also selected a higher temperature rating. The original device is rated 216 degrees C, so it's designed to trip there. Uh, the new device is rated 240 degrees centigrade and again these are one-shot devices once they hit that temperature and trip they are toast so they are one-time use uh, normally I would not upgrade or just arbitrarily change the temperature on a safety device but it seems like these are pretty popular and being widely sold so I thought I'd give it a try uh, those of you who own a GHD product or have purchased a GHD product as a gift know that they are very expensive and so I thought uh, rather than throw away a uh, hundred dollar plus item I'd give these uh, overloads a try these thermal overloads or thermal switches thermal fuses a try as I said earlier you can see that the leads are a little bit longer so just be prepared for that doesn't seem to be a big problem but I did want to point out the fact that the hole diameter on the terminals is larger on the new device than it is on the old device and if you're not careful about it let me see if you can get a comparison here old one, old one on the right new one in the middle and left so you can see that they are slightly different in size. This one is larger over here. Terminal holes are larger so a couple of things. One, either uh, just pay attention to it because the screw head is just about exactly the diameter of that hole. So if your screw is lined up perfectly centered there is a possibility that your screw will not properly hold down this terminal in the correct position. So a couple of things, just make sure that when you put the screw in it's slightly off center. That's one solution. Another solution would be to add a very very small washer on top. I didn't check whether there was enough clearance to do that but a uh, small diameter and very very small thickness washer. Or uh, lastly you could squeeze the terminal this way just to slightly elongate just to slightly take it out of uh, true round and that should give you enough surface area between the bottom of the screw head and the top of the terminal to properly hold uh, the terminal in place seems to be working fine so far so I'm, uh, maybe we'll never get it to trip again I hope it's not a safety issue but I guess we'll see so thanks for watching. Hey, if this uh, helped you any or you found it entertaining or useful, please subscribe to my channel.